walking down to Oxford Street because I'm gonna to go to Topshop Personal Shopping and I know you guys have liked these videos in the past so I'm just gonna do a bit of like an autumn haul there's so many nice pieces in there at the minute that I've seen online and I keep popping in here and there so I'm gonna to go to see the girls at the personal shopping pick out some bits and try it on for you um, and hopefully find some new staple pieces so I'll bring you along with me got into the Topshop personal shopping changing room and I've gone around the store and picked all these pieces so I'm going to quickly show you them on the rail so you can see them and also this dress I'm wearing if I didn't mention before is also Topshop I love it it's like this knitwear um, dress but I'm really funny about my like knitwear because I find a lot of it like itches me and this one's just really super soft not itchy and it's quite lightweight as well so it's nice this time of year where it's a bit like not too cold yet and you can just wear it on its own so I've just paired it with these boots as well so I'll link everything down below so you can shop it and obviously all the pieces that I'm going to show you as well so I'm so excited about these pieces I feel like Topshop just have such good stock in at the minute I've gone a bit wild I've picked like coats blazers dresses bottoms jumpers you name it I'm getting my autumn wardrobe ready so I'm excited to show you all these pieces on as well so this is what I've chose so far. I've got this bag, which I thought was really nice. I love this like chunky chain on it. And it's kind of given me like very like high-end vibes with the velvet detail on the bottom. And this dress must have literally just come and stopped today because I saw so many girls like swarming over it to it. And the lady literally just put an A out. So I grabbed it because it is so nice. I love like a black frilly dress like this that you can layer with a coat over and put some black over the knee boots and sort of dress it up because it's a really good piece to wear like from day to night. Obviously, I'll show you all on. So I've got some jumpers here, like thick ones, um, sort of like thin and um, turtleneck ones. I've picked out some blazers, a leather jacket some jeans if you've watched my other videos you'll know that all I wear is Topshop jeans so I had to stock up on another colour and see how they fit I've got these like um, check trousers which I think will be nice some leather trousers I think these are a size 10 though because they didn't have any other smaller sizes so I'm going to see how these fit if they're too big then hopefully I can order it online and then I went a bit adventurous with these I'm not sure how they're going to look on on me but um they're kind of like a cordery detail with this zip but they could look good so we're going to try them then oh my god this coat is amazing i saw it and i was like i need to try this on it's like sort of like a teddy coat but it's so soft i wish you guys could like feel it through the camera because it's amazing and then it's got the black button detail so i feel like i'm going to love that already and then i've already came in top shop earlier this week and saw this so i want to try it it gives me like really high-end chloe vibes so it's this check sort of shacket as they call it and then this is kind of like a longer version um, in a different print but I really like these colours of like the cream and black together and then I've gone with this pink mac as well because as you guys know I love anything with like a pop of pink and then this jumper dress so I feel like there's loads of good options here to try on it's like a really good sort of like staple pieces to put in my wardrobe for autumn so I'm going to try these on and see how we get on okay so I first put on this dress I am obsessed. I'm so glad it came in stock today and I found it. So I've just put it on with these boots that I was wearing before. And then I've just put this belt around the middle of it as well. It actually does have like a cinched in waist here, if you can see like the elastic bit of it. But I just thought the belt just breaks up a bit. But I love it. It's so nice and this little frilly detail to it. I just think this is a perfect dress which you can put like a massive coat over. You can wear it to like the office. You can wear it for like a night out. I really really like it. It's such a versatile dress and then it's got this sort of like cinched in detail here with a frill It is so nice. I love it and then it sort of comes like frilly here Around the neck as well So this is the size 8 and I thought I'd actually need the 6 but they didn't have it in stock But I think the 8 is fine actually because it fits nicely in the length um, But yeah, obviously when I the tags off this belt, I think it will look better But this is such a nice outfit. I love it together with the boots the belt I think it just breaks up a bit, but this is definitely a must in my wardrobe So I'll link it down below because I feel like this could sell out I just wanted to quickly show you another way that I would style it So I've took the belt off I've still got the boots on but then I also picked out this leather jacket And it's kind of got like this stitching detail going through it like the white stitching So it's like a little bit of a different take on like a faux leather jacket, which is nice And I got this in a size 10 because I like to just have it a bit more oversized 
and then it's got the buckle sort of detail going around the back here but I just think this adds a little bit more to the dress it sort of dresses it down or even this is a really nice like outfit to go out in I think a nice leather jacket like this to put over the top of it is a good look or you could put like a massive coat like a big black coat or like even a colour to make it pop with a black and white but I just can't get over this dress I'm absolutely in love with it and I really like it with this jacket too so I think I'm going to get this jacket like I said it's a size 10 and I like how it's just a bit more like boxy and big because if you were to put a jumper on it obviously you need a bit of room but this is such a perfect outfit for this time of year where it's not too like cold at the minute like you don't need a massive coat where you sort of want to have a layer but still be quite cool. I'm obsessed with this outfit if you couldn't tell already. So sticking on the subject of dresses, I've just put on this sort of like long turtleneck dress. It's kind of like midi length. I wasn't too sure on it when I first put it on because it was just quite baggy on me but then I've done the same and put the bow around the middle and I quite actually like it. So it comes like extra small, small, medium, large instead of like size 6 to 16 but I really like this actually. I think it's just like an easy thing to put on and it's obviously an outfit in itself. I've got one similar which I put in my last video, I'll link it here on the screen, and it had like a slit up here but it was longer, but I just think this is nice just to put under a coat and you could layer it, and I like the colour, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a chocolatey brown, but I definitely think it needs like the belt for me to bring it in, otherwise it just looks a bit too baggy, but yeah, I think I like this, I'm not sure how much it is, I'll have a look on the label, it's £45, but I, like I said, I think it's worth the money because it's just an outfit in itself and it's just something you could dress up a dress down and probably wear some little black booties with it. But yeah, I like this. And actually, it would look nice with this bag that I picked out, I think. Quite like this outfit together with the belt and the bag. I think something like this just needs like accessorising up because it's a little bit plain and basic, but this is what you need in your wardrobe, something that you can wear different ways. I just put this coat over it to show you again how I would sort of style it in a different way. And I think this coat actually goes really nice with it, the colours, because this is like a chocolate brown. And then this is like cream and black and it's sort of got browns going through it, which I think this coat is perfect to match with everything in your wardrobe because it's got all the colours. But I like this together actually, like a big coat laid over the top, it looks really smart and this coat is so nice it looks so high end I'm not sure how much it is I'll let you know and obviously I'll link it down below but I got this in a size 6 because I find with Topshop coats they come quite big um, so the 6 fits perfectly on me and I always have short arms so it's better for me to go smaller so the arms aren't too big but I like this together with the dress what do we think let me know in the comments down below okay so I've put my favorite jeans on if you follow me for a while you know I harp on about Topshop jeans they're just my favorite they're only ones that literally fit me um, so these are the straight leg I always go with straight leg but I've got them in a light denim but I like this because obviously going into autumn winter I like my denim to go a bit darker but I don't want it to be like too dark this is sort of in between which is nice and they fit perfectly so this is size 8 in the 30 length and they just cut off nicely around my ankle which I like and then I've just put this jumper with it it's sort of turtleneck here um, and it comes as cinch in and then it's sort of ribbed throughout and then it goes frilly on the sleeves which I like I think this is just such a good basic to have in your wardrobe you can layer it under everything and it just matches everything so it's like this nice cream color so I'm just going to show you this and put one of the blazers with it so you can see it as a full outfit because obviously these are two good basics to have jeans and a nice jumper so I've just put this camel blazer over the top of it which I think works well with the colors this is just obviously everybody needs a blazer in the wardrobe but I live in my blazers at this time of year. They're just so perfect to whack on over a dress. I like can outfit like this for meetings, going out. They're just so versatile. And I like this because it's got the tortoise, tortoise, tortoise shell buttons, if I can get my words out properly. And then it's also here. I just think it's really nice, staple piece, and it works well with this outfit. So I think I need to get this blazer. I obviously already have blazers in my wardrobe, but you can never have enough. And I also like how this frill detail comes out at the bottom of it. Just adds a nice little touch to it. So I think these are three good staples to invest in. And here we have it, the amazing coat. This is so cozy and soft. I can't get over it, it's amazing. So I've just paired it with a jumper and jeans. This is how I'd wear it but I am obsessed with this. I'm sorry if I say obsessed a lot in this video, I'll probably do a count and we'll see how many times I say it, but all these pieces are just so amazing. I can't get over how soft it is. I wish you could like feel it through the camera, but you obviously see like it's such nice quality. I like how it comes up big around here and then it's got the little black buttons and it's a really nice length actually. So I got this in a small, it comes in like extra small, small, medium, large. I just like to go a little bit oversized as I've said before. So instead of getting the extra small, I think the small works. But it's nice cut off length so it doesn't come to the knee and it doesn't come here where you can see your bum. I think it's nice that it just covers it 
and it looks good with some jeans I probably wear it with my black leather trousers as well so I'll link them down below as well because I think I showed them in my last video and I wear them all the time quick outfit change I've just put the leather trousers on but they are literally far too big for me these are the size 10 I'll probably need the 6 and there's just so much like scrunched up material at the bottom so I think the six would fit nice but I really like them actually obviously if they would fit sorry the coat's like overwhelming it um, so it's got this zip up detail here and here but they just actually are really nice like faux leather they're really comfy so I think actually if I got this in my size six they would just go with a lot of things in my wardrobe so I partnered it with the coat to show you how to style it obviously love the trousers I'd wear it with these I'd wear it with black leather trousers and jeans so this coat just is so versatile to match with everything and if I didn't say before it's £75 which I think is actually a good price for an amazing coat like this the material is amazing and this will literally last you like a few years which I love investing now in coats that I know will like never go out of style and then I've just put it with this jumper I'll quickly take it off so you can see just place it down here for now um, I've just put this jumper on. I actually already have this, but I just wanted to show you how I'd wear it with like the leather trousers. It's from the Idol collection, and I shot a picture in it with some like shorts. But it looks it's a skirt, but it looks like shorts as well. So I'll pop a picture of that here. Um, that was with my last collaboration with Topshop, and I absolutely loved it. So this is the jumper. I just wanted to show it you guys again because it's so soft and nice, and it's just a really nice colour to match with everything. So I just wanted to show you another jacket with these leather trousers, how I would style them. I really like this one. Like I said before, when I picked it up off the rail, I feel like it's very, like, Chloe high-end vibes. It's like a bit of a dupe of the other one. But I like these colours, so it's sort of, like, grey with creams going through it, which I think would match really nice with these cream leather trousers if I can get them in my size. But I really like this because it's sort of lightweight, like it's not a big thick jacket. It's sort of a lightweight jacket. I think they call it the shacket. Um, but I really like the colours in this. I think it's just a bit different with the check print as well. So this is a size small. Again, it comes like extra small, small. I feel like I repeat myself a lot, but I like just to have it a little bit oversized. And I think these colours really complement each other. To quickly show you guys this. This is why I shouldn't venture out with something that's not me. I've tried to put these like cordery trousers on. They're the size eight and they just are not zipping up. Whereas like them leather trousers before size 10 were massive on me. So it's always worth trying it on to make sure it fits, but these are a definite no from so me. I switched up the trousers to something that actually fits me, which is really weird because these, kid you not, are a size 6. So the size 8 and the corduroy ones just didn't fit, whereas these fit really nice. They're sort of like this um, dog's tooth check print, and then it's got this little button here that brings you in. But I really like these, actually. They're comfy, and they sort of go like balloon at the bottom and fold up and then I've just put this black jumper with it but I've sort of tucked it in here at the back so it looks a little bit cropped and tight around here so it brings it in the waist but I think this is a nice outfit actually I think this is good for like workwear even or I'd style it up with some nice little black heels for the evening just for like a date night but I think this is versatile because I'd probably wear um, like a little body with this as well I did pick one out I picked this out that I might get it's just like a white square neck body and it was only £14 so I think that would also look nice paired with these trousers so I'll show you up close the print so you can see it a bit more but I just think these are a bit different than wearing jeans all the time so for the last piece of this haul is this pink mac jacket which is actually amazing I love the colour of this it's sort of like a baby pink and then it's got the tortoise shell details here I haven't tied it yet but obviously you can wear it tied up or sometimes when I have a trench like this I always tie it at the back which I think looks nice I did upload a picture on my Instagram I'll pop it up here of one that I got in the sale and it was sort of vinyl so I'll link that down below as well but I like that this is a different material it just looks so chic and it looks really expensive which I like so this is actually a size 8 but I think I might need the size 6 in it because the arms are a little long as you can see I have such short arms so I think I'm going to get the 6 in this and then I just put the body underneath it the one that I showed you before and just these jeans to show you how I'd style it up because I think this is just a nice basic outfit but it's like really nice every day and it adds a bit of a pop of colour to your wardrobe in the autumn because I feel like obviously it's normally always like blacks and nudes and creams and it's nice just to have a little bit of colour but this is a definite from me I think. That is everything guys I feel like I've shown you everything pretty much on all the rails that I picked out there's so much nice stock and I'm so happy with actually all the pieces I tried on just not them cordery trousers but I'm just going to quickly show you the pieces that I think I'm going to get just so you can see what I actually buy so I'm definitely going to get the jeans because I love Topshop jeans I live in them I'm going to get this belt because it would just go with a lot definitely going to get the black dress I absolutely love this and then I'm going to go with the jumper dress as well because I feel like this is just so versatile to have in your wardrobe I like this jumper with the frill neck I think it's just going to go under a lot 
And then I need to pick between these coats because I can't be greedy and have all three because that's just too much. So I'm not sure which to go out of this. I'm gonna ask the girls in the personal shop in their opinion because I just love all three. I might just get two. I absolutely love this one. So I think I'm definitely gonna go for this because it just never got out of style. And then it's just between these two check ones which I'll get. So I'm sure you'll see over on my Instagram which you'll see me posting soon um, which one I end up getting. So I really hope you liked this video guys and everything I tried on and sort of this style of like come shop with me so you can see what I pick and how I'm like trying it on and styling it up so you can see things in different ways as well. So obviously like I said everything will be linked down below so you can shop it there and if you did like this video please give it a like so I'll be coming back with a lot more if so and I'll link my other videos on the screen up here so you can see them as well but obviously this is the autumn one because we're going into the season now and I just think these are really good basics to have in your wardrobe. So hopefully you like them as much as I do and until next time guys I will see you then.